Hello and welcome to this video. This is Cloud Raiders Defense Series 5, page review number 6. I missed out one person in the last video, beg your pardon. I'm going to do that base very quickly and give you a little bonus. Ah. I'm pretty sure it's this one, is it? Yeah, that's the one. All right, Stronghold 8. You can see the defense is kind of new. This is not a very old account, I would say. It said there is no soldiers in the troop camps because it gives a bit of um, data on what the person uses soldiers and what level they are. Mines are quite advanced. Uh, more than the defense, really, so I guess that you are more like a farming player, although you have quite some things for uh, level 64. I'd say here that you should put more attention on your defense. Uh, if you are a raider, you don't really need mining, gold rails and stuff. It's not very interesting for you to have these things. The defense, on the other hand, is very important because as a raider you will stock resources to to finance your defense so you do need to pay attention to your defense I would advise really to stop upgrading your gold drills even if it's because you don't have enough resources and your walls level 6 when you see you have you know Big Bertha level 3 I don't see the point of having wall 6 you know it's, uh, it's very little defense compared to the walls I, know. Uh, I would advise you to really concentrate on Big Bertha. Big Bertha uh, are a key you know, on defense. It's really one of the most important weapons together with the Crown's Nest and um, Crystal Spires. These are the three most uh, effective weapons. You know, they, Those two handle air and ground and they deal kind of a very good amount of damage. They have um, the crossness has a widest range together with the big Bertha, and uh, the cannon is not bad also, but not as good. It doesn't cover the air. The damage is a little less, and the range is a little less also, but it's very cheap. So yeah, your vaults are a little too centered for my taste. Meaning it's kind of easy to take on. You know. 50% of the side here, you go from here all along, you release all your archers, for example, if you just go with archers. And I'm pretty sure you would get up to there, even if you don't get to those defenses, uh, you would definitely get these vaults. So you can get 100% vault damage here. So uh, ensure two stars without hitting barrel. But once this is said, there is space for traps uh, fairly inside. It would be nice to have some space here somewhere, you know, close closer to the center to to deal maximum damage. But it's not bad. It's not bad as a setup. Just have to rework out a little bit your priorities, I think. Otherwise, it's nice. All right. I don't have any more people on my list, so what I propose you is to show you uh this guy who raided me yesterday, he won. I'm gonna do the replay, so you can see what uh, what happened, and then I'm gonna show you the attack I did on him as um, an exchange for his visit. <laughs> Starts here on the right with the marauders, two healers. That already is not a good sign for me, except that he released them. Should have released them more here. You know, you have to be aware when you release healer that they are not within the range of a weapon. And when you release here, if the marauders are going to the right, then you need to release archers or something to the left so they don't get to the healer. Otherwise, your healer doesn't do anything. Anymore. Okay, you put this healing barrel a little too early to my taste. Because uh, most of these marauders, you know, still had life. You don't put the healing barrel to heal one marauder. You put the healing barrel when most of your marauders are kind of low, and then, tack, there you put the healing barrel. We can see the traps here, the three shock rods. 
they handled you know most of the motors and then my bombers handled uh, the rest of them see traps again boom handle three cannoneers so overall I think this base did pretty good stopping the the attack the bombers handled the rest of the motors even under the healing barrel and the healer so it was um, it's quite nice well <laughs> you can see he gave up at the end knowing he wouldn't have much to get out of this and he stole 200,000 gold and 100,000 cloud now let's see if I can find back his attack ah here it is okay let's replay that I don't remember what happened in this attack I don't have that many motors yeah let me see here I put I got a bit scared for my healers so I put these um, cannoneers and on the other side I put these um, dragons you see right in front of the sky harpoon the sky harpoon didn't have time to do anything kind of sad I remember I got scared for my healers <laughs> I panicked here a little bit I didn't need to put a healing barrel here but I thought if I had um, these two healers gone I wouldn't make it much further in the raid bone dragons are doing their job slowly but surely Healers are really nice, you know, you just keep them alive. Keep these motors alive. The only thing reducing the number of motors are the traps. And he had a few traps that were that were well placed. Now I did a little mistake. I should have put a comment flag on this car harpoon as soon as he started shooting bone dragons. Yeah, there you go, I did it, but it's too late. Really, I should have done it much earlier, I would have gotten much better results. I think I use the second one for this um, for this grouse nest here. Using one um, one command flag for the for that sky harpoon first at the beginning, like when the bone dragons arrived to all this area, would have used the command flag for this uh, for this sky harpoon. Would have been fine. Wouldn't have needed another one. There you go. That's what you get from bothering me during the night. <laughs> so the loot, the loot is about three hundred thousand gold, three hundred thousand clouds, two hundred thousand clouds. I don't remember what was the figure, but all in all, I kind of won in the exchange. Why doesn't say here? Oh, fine. Let's look here. Yeah, oh, 350,000 gold, 340,000 clouds. There you go. That was a little bonus, a little raid I wanted to show you. Um, I usually, during the night before I go to sleep, I um, empty all my troops, I do an attack, and then I put cannoneers, two healers. Uh, the first, these first two training grounds, I put one healer on each, and then behind marauders, and on the other two, I put cannoneers. That way, when I get in the morning and I have one attack, you know, from a big player who's trying to steal my gold, I have the means to fight back, like I did there. And that's um, that's the best way to do it with cannoneers. You can get through pretty much any base, any time. Uh, I didn't do it in a very smart way <laughs> in this red. I could have done it much uh, smoother. But I still got the good, so I'm still happy. There you go. That's the end of this video. Hope you liked it. Uh, if you did, please hit the like button, otherwise you can subscribe, there's more videos coming, and I see you next time. Bye!